God is saying, let my people go. Let my people go and worship me. I know for sure this is not new to you. There's nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. God is saying, let my people go. So, who is God telling, let my people go? Right now, today, let's see. The people of God, as it's written, they will be scattered all over the earth, in the four corners of the earth, right? They are everywhere. This you cannot lie about anymore. The people of God are still scattered all over the earth, in the four corners of the earth, because we know in the end, the end game will happen when God himself, with his mighty hand, will gather his people from the four corners of the earth. It's written. Cannot deny or lie about it because it's written here. That's how the book ends, right? Let's see. So now, where are the people of God right now? Well, they are in the land that is not theirs and their forefathers never knew. What is that land? Where is the revived Rome, which is America? They are in America. Some of them and others in Africa, of course, all over the world. And again, remember, God himself said, Judah will wake up first and then the ten tribes, if not eleven, will follow. So now, a few days ago, if not weeks ago, something happened. The current even situation. That showed me that Judah, those who are in the U.S., are going to work first, and then the rest will follow. How? Well, as you can see, everyone in the U.S. knows about the Carrie Irving, the movie, From Hebrews to Negroes, but talk to people from Africa, they have no clue, they don't know what's going on. So this showed me that, yes, the Bible is true. Judah will wake up first and then the ten tribes will follow. And of course, they're going to start to remember who they are. So the time is now. That's why God is saying, let my people go. Let my people go. So now, those who are converts or fake people calling themselves people of the book, they're the ones, of course, to fight against. But the true mystery of Babylon has not started to fight as of yet because it's still undercover. They don't want to show the truth right now, but they're going to be involved as the time moves on. Let's see. Now, we know the time of Gentiles is being fulfilled. So God gave worship to the Gentiles until their time will be over, until their time will be up. This is the time we are living right now. Whether you like it or you don't, it's up to you because it's written. You cannot change anything about prophecy because it was prophesied long, long ago and it will come to pass no matter what, regardless. Now, I'm surprised. Why am I surprised? I'm surprised because if you are a true believer, you should know that the time of Gentiles is being fulfilled. Therefore, the new time of Hebrews, of Judah, and the ten lost tribes is beginning. Jacob is the beginning. Esau is the end. So now we are starting a new time for Jacob to rule over the entire world, no matter what. So now the surprise is this. How can you say that you love God you do everything for the good of God and you follow the ways of God but still try to cover up what's going on and you know what's going on you cover up and of course it's not going to end pretty for you because 
if you don't tell the truth, there's no truth in you. And of course, you cannot love God. You cannot be of God. Tell the truth no matter what. I've seen some people from any background starting to tell the truth regardless. White, black, white, yellow, red, whatever you call yourselves, they are coming out telling the truth. Because the truth is what going to set people free. It's what going to make people free because we saw that. The truth, you cannot deny the truth because the truth, check what the truth will do. The truth will come out and soon is going to destroy lies. As I said in the other video, you can check around. The truth is what going to cause tribulation. So we hear people talk about tribulation, the book of Revelation, right and left. But nobody seems to be talking about what's going to cause tribulation. Because tribulation is going to be caused by the truth. The truth will come out and will cover the entire world. This is how the devil is going to get mad and start going after people by using the mob. The well known as the mark of the beast. This is why the mark of the beast is inevitable because it's going to be used to chase out those who are really true to God and those who are willing to take on their cross and follow the Lord Almighty God. So now, the question is, you hear people say this and that. Everyone wants to be the new Moses. I was surprised to hear somebody, for example, destroying other people who are in the same truth, saying, oh, they are lies. But when you compare the two because you, you observe, you follow, not only the truth, you can know who is telling the truth and who is lying. But even though they're not lying 100%, don't attack another person who's trying to bring the truth out. Don't be jealous. If somebody is bigger than you are, you have your own calling. Your own current stay there. Don't go to attack others because you are destroying yourselves by not uniting and it's not good for the kingdom. It's only for your own destruction and distraction. Be patient. Do your part. God will take care of the rest. And of course, this is just the beginning. God is telling those people who have been holding hostage on his people to let them go. Times now, 400 years now are over and now it's time to go. But wait and be wise and be watchful. Don't move before the move is going to be necessary. Thank you very much for watching. May God bless you. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon.